In one of our previous videos, we have set the default values which our mobile application will use. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the remote values in Firebase Remote Config so that our mobile application can fetch those remote values and apply them on top of default values. Meaning that if a remote value is different, it is the remote value that will be used rather than the default value. So to do that, I will need to switch back to Firebase console and I will go to my console and I will choose my project. And under the grow section here, I have remote config, I'll click on it. And I will need to add my very first parameter. Click on this button and here I need to create a parameter key and parameter value. Not to make a typo, I'll go back to my Xcode and I'll copy the key of my default parameter and paste it here. And let's say with this example, we want to disable our registration button. So I will provide a value of false. My default value is true, but I'm going to override it with the remote value of false. So I'll add this parameter and once the parameter is added, I will need to publish it. So I'll click on publish changes button. And also very important note here is that once you publish the changes, they'll be immediately available to your mobile application and users. So I'll publish these changes. And this is it. Now I can switch back to my Xcode and write Swift code to fetch this remote configuration key value pairs and apply them or activate them on my application so that it is remote values will be used on top of default values.